All right. Bookstore stories round the parking lot at the mighty Tsunami Books on a Friday. We're going to give you a little tour of the outside of the building, folks. This is the unnamed turkey <laughs> that uh, Emily painted as a part of our mural, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, a lot of excitement here out on the street. I'm with working with Valerie, my co-worker. There's some fingers. <laughs> and uh, Valerie just came back from a trip visiting family in Turkey, uh, Istanbul. Is that correct? Yes. Wow. And have you learned, can you now pronounce your your husband's last name and your last name a little better for this trip? A teeny bit better. Well, let's give it a... Valerie, what's your last whole name? Valerie Uzgent. Uzgent. Oh, that's very nice. Even <laughs> outside, it's distinct. <laughs> we're just going to briefly show you the street, folks, because there's another big hole out here that we're... Uh, they're making headway. The word is, by this time next week, all of Willamette is going to be paved. And that will be wonderful for business and for your convenience, of course. At the moment, you can't cross, when you're headed south, you can't cross into the Tsunami parking lot. So that's a bit of a drag, but lots of people are figuring ways around it. But for now, we're gonna look at the building. Here's an old sign. I don't know if Valerie could get this old sign. Yep. Uh, but we painted it wrong and the paint all came off. <laughs> so we've painted one, we're gonna replace that. You'll see that one of these days. It's a very interesting story saving this building. It's a nice, let's go up. We're gonna look at this mural all the way up top. Come on back. That that mural, can you, can, can you zero in? Can you see those faces on that, Valerie? The face? Have you ever seen those faces in the mirror, in the, uh, in the wave? Oh, in the wave? Yeah, check it out. Check it out. This was painted by Dan and May Hitchcock in 1996. They were uh, nationally known muralists at that point, a husband-wife team who were living in the woods. And that's Hokusai's wave, and they have incorporated hundreds of human faces in the wave, which you can see it clearly when you're here. I'm not sure if you can see it on the uh, YouTube. But uh, every human emotion. And this, this this thing has held up since 95. We're quite pleased with it. And Emily, when we got a new lease a few years ago, we had... I'm going to take the mask off in a moment because Valerie and I are six feet apart vaccinated. Everybody in our staff has been vaccinated since day one. Just because we want to be. We didn't need no mandates. We had our understanding. But much like most of you. Emily painted this. Emily Poole, who worked. Let's get up close to some of this. Because this is very important. It's It depicts the four seasons of the year. And this is winter, clearly. You can see the, this, the banana slug and the bird, and it's a little shadowy. She moves into the spring, the blooms, which she is quite wise about, uh, she can tell you. This is a little, uh, this was a door 25 years ago. People think it's a door right now. They come here, and they, they come over here, and they push. It's just a mural of a dug fur. It's a little very interesting uh, stob is the term, you know, a broken snag. But uh, we wanted to fill that in. We're moving from the spring into the summer on the road. Blooming bear grass. Beautiful. You know, the monkey wrench gang it was, was it happened in the summer. Then into the fall. And my one contribution to the mural is I asked her to in incorporate a turkey because that's our, you know, we love our turkeys in South Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> but her son, there's the Ipu 2018, she did this. Very nice. Uh, I wonder what that is called. Is that a, oh my God, I keep forgetting the names of these. But a sunflower. And... 
This has always been our entrance. It's now our, we made it our exit during the COVID because we just, we wanted to have a little more control of people coming in. And it turned out, it was it worked out very well. We don't get the dust from the street and the construction. Uh, there's more privacy. The store itself is staying a lot cleaner. Our little bulletin board here, folks. Anything eight and a half by 11, yeah. That's a very interesting, yes. Tsunami signboard policy. Politics only with permission of both tsunami owners. You know, we, we try to stay apolitical unless we can't help it. Uh, and we're all side czars here. Folks who always feel free to uh, healing arts, music, teaching. Those things are very uh, encouraging. Of oh, look at this. Have you seen this, Valerie? Oh my God, look at this. We wanted to make it obvious to people how to get into the bookstore. And Emily, again, on a lunch break or something, painted this. <laughs> she is uh, one producing artist. Keep that name in your minds. Emily Poole. Everybody's going to want to have a little piece of artwork from Emily Poole. I think we all do in the store. Those, that's echinacea flowers she just threw in as a filigree. Beautiful. And this is our rare and collectible room. This is always open to the public as long as we got someone here. We have about 5,000 older volumes in, the, in there. It's a wonderland. We love to work in there. It's also the offices of our new publishing arm of Tsunami Books called Tsunami Press. A lot more on that coming up. Uh, we have an old sign up here that we're gonna cover up. That's our sign, that's our property. Lumber for sale. Don't ask about it. <laughs> that was a long time ago. But uh, we have a big parking lot. And then we swing around to the nice part of our, what we really consider our new main entrance. Freshly paved uh, blacktop, fairly fresh, a year old. And then we come around. And we've been planting things here for 25 years along the edge of the building. Our big harvest this year, you can, can you see that big tree way over there? Phenomenal crop, two crops this year. And no birds, I'm sorry to say. Some years there's birds, this year no birds. But it was good for uh, big harvesters, non-birds. Non this, this one's been growing. Look at this tomato plant. I've never seen a plant like this. And we had a crop early, and there's about a hundred palm-sized tomatoes on it right now. I will see how they do. There's a little disease in there, but they might do great. But what a bush, you know, and zinnias. We've been working on our zinnias, and everybody on the staff loves deadhead. Uh, and this is out here. We're going to have a David Jacob Strain Bob Beach concert this Sunday. We've had a couple, three concerts out here in the parking lot. Wonderful open air community. And you can probably tell that we've moved away from the street. It sounded, you know, we should have had hard hats just being on the Lamont Street. Ooh, nice. We like our hand drawn maps or our hand, hand drawn signs. And I want to point this out because this is an oddity. We just put this up the other day. We got two of these the other day. It's a single oak plank in Sis Library and a famous librarian, I can't tell you who, acquired these when a library was remodeled somewhere in Eugene, Oregon at some point in time, our lifetimes. And the, the people who were remodeling it didn't know what they were gonna do with these signs. So this librarian just put them in his or her garage, in their garage and then brought them to Tsunami the other day, and we thought, well, let's put it up. It's, but don't be confused. We're gonna still get you money <laughs> when you come in. This isn't a library. We're not gonna rent to own or anything like that. This is a bookstore. This is a beautiful sign, and we wanted to uh, honor the, honor the uh, original idea. And this is our entrance. Valerie is going to walk on in and just take a look around as if 
as if she'd never been here before. And thank you very much for, for being a part of this. There's uh, Jordan Walker's painting of the uh, old Mackenzie Pass. Where everybody recognizes that. That's a spectacular work. We actually have sold a lot of art through the through this uh, era. People are putting things on their walls because we're staring at the walls. A lot. We have the best customers you could ever have. It's been a perfect clientele through this, and we thank you very much for being such special people and caring when you come in and um, just excited by a book. What else, Valerie? What do you got? Give, That's it. Give us a closing statement. A well, closing statement on the fly. Thanks. Do, do you know anything? <laughs> anything? Any words in Turkish? Okay, so maybe like that. Here. Maybe that aren't appropriate for oh. YouTube. Seni <laughs> well, seviyorum means I love you. No, say that again. Seni <laughs> seviyorum. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. All right. Spontaneous. We don't know what episode this is, but uh, enjoy it. Thank you.